Thanks, Yifei. So my name is Siya. So I'm uh, a software engineer of Apollo Simulation Team. And uh, we've been working on this uh, Apollo's human machine interaction tool called DreamView. So today I'm going to give you uh, an overview of various enhancements and upgrades we made to DreamView uh, in Apollo 2.5. And I will uh, make a quick demo, live demo after that. Okay, so first a quick introduction to DreamView. So DreamView is uh, essentially the frontier of, uh, essentially for anybody who wants to interact with Apollo's uh, algorithm or interact with the car. So uh, it serves uh, both on the car and off the car. So on the car, uh, DreamView is a visualization hub to provide an accurate view of everything around the car uh, with its very uh, rich visual elements. For example, uh, passengers on the car will see um, the, the obstacles around the car, uh, basically how the car perceives itself around, around the, uh, the surroundings, and also uh, what kind of actions the car will take uh, accordingly. So besides that, also on the car, uh, DreamView serves as a monitor to tell uh, whether all the, all the components, where, all the like, sensors, if they are working as expected. Uh, off the car, uh, it's also a very powerful debugging tool uh, for our de developers to troubleshoot existing algorithms. It's also a playground for developers to test their uh, innovations without needing to deploy the algorithm on the car. Okay, so new features in Apollo 2.5. So uh, it's actually uh, in two parts. The first one is uh, in the standard mode, uh, which we use the standard sensor settings, like we have the LiDAR and uh, we have the HD map. Okay, so in the standard mode, we have added the camera view and uh, yeah, we have added the camera view and uh, we have added a uh, planning and control monitor, which is a powerful tool for uh, debugging planning and control, control algorithms. And we have the point cloud display from the LiDAR. And uh, also we have this new cool feature called uh, low cost vision based perception, as well as the uh, navigation mode uh, Efe just mentioned. So Jimmy also has support to that mode. So uh, we can see that we have uh, this uh, main view where we have the eagle car and we have the blue band, which is the planning trajectory in front of the car. We have the lane markings detected by the perception module and uh, also in, on the top left corner, we have also this satellite view, uh, which I will go about uh, soon. Yeah, this is the, the Google map view, which we are all very familiar with. And uh, we have an overlay basically on top of that. So I will go get into that in the lab demo. So in the live demo, I will uh, replay two raw specs, which is essentially the road test we collected, road test data we collected. So first one is about the standard view. Okay. So it's gonna take some time to load the background map, which is uh, collected from our high definition LiDAR. Uh, so we can see the blue eagle car in the middle and uh, there's a blue band in front of the car which is the planning traje trajectory collected, uh, collected from the percept uh, planning module. And we also see the bounding boxes around the car which, is, uh, which are the vehicles or ob obstacles detected by our perception module. So this is great. And uh, we also want to see the raw sensor data besides the, the calculated one. So we have this camera sensor view. So you can see that these two views are matching perfectly. Like we have the bounding boxes in the left and we have, uh, maybe it's a little bit small. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm waiting for the, the bag to play back to the very beginning. Yeah, so we can see that there's a, there's a big track in front of the car and this matched with the 
the bonding box here. And also we have a stop fence in front of the car, which indicates that the car is waiting for that big truck. Uh, also, we have another powerful sensor on the car, which is LiDAR. We also want to see the input of that. Uh, okay, so we can see these uh, dense points around the car, and uh, the color represents the height of the, the points. So you can see that all the red, red uh, points are the reflections from ground, and we can see this big track in front of the car, uh, it reflects the other colors of the points. Okay, so that's all for the visual parts, and uh, we also have this uh, debugging tool called PNC Monitor. So on the right, so we can see that it's plotting dynamically uh, various uh, graphs here. We have the planning speed, we have the acceleration, and uh, all the other ones. It's all like moving dynamically. They all take the, they are all from the data from the planning module. And also we have the uh, similar graphs from the control module. So very handy tool for the planning and the control engineers to troubleshoot their algorithm. Okay, so that's all for the standard view. Uh, let's switch gear a little bit. We will switch to the navigation mode. Okay. Uh, okay, I will play another road test data, which we recorded on uh, Highway 101. We need to switch the module, uh, the mode here to navigation. All right, so we can see that the, the HD map is kind of narrow here because it's all generated uh, in real time, actually on the fly while you are driving the car. So that's why it's not based on the, uh, the relatively high cost HD map, but it's just generated by the, the algorithm itself. And also we see this uh, bonding boxes, which are the cars in front of us, and you can actually see the speed is quite high because we are on the highway 101. And you can see that the, the planning monitor and control monitors are still functioning as the standard view. Okay, so on the top left, we have this uh, Google map view, uh, which is also very useful when we are in this navigation mode. Okay, let's just make it bigger. Okay, so uh, we, we can see the, there's a, uh, the, the red sign is actually the Eagle car, and we have this green line in the center, which is the, the navigation line, if I just mentioned, and we have those two uh, blue lines around the cars, they are the lane marking detected by perception module, as mentioned by time. So yeah, this is basically just a uh, plain Google, Google map view. We just provided a uh, overlay layer on top of that. So that's more intuitive to the users. Okay, so uh, that's all for the, for the, yeah. Okay. So you can check out the, the DreamView's code, it's open source uh, at GitHub. And uh, besides DreamView, we also have a cloud-based simulation platform uh, deployed on Azure. So uh, you can also check out using this URL. So I will be sticking around after the, the talk section. So feel free to speak to us if you have any interest in our simulation capabilities. Uh, so also, uh, this is the this is the all for for the dream view part, and uh, also we have another big milestone of Apollo 2.5 is that uh, Apollo now supports the gym platform from autonomous stuff. So today we are very glad to invite our uh, long-term partners from autonomous stuff. So please allow me to introduce Lucas from autonomous stuff along with Xiangquan from our Apollo team. Yeah. 